Hello friends, my name is Sunil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how the idempotent filter is being used and how the in-memory of the mule is being used to store the ID of the idempotent filter. So, for creating this, first of all, we will create a new project, mule project, and let's name it as idempotent. in memory keeping resting as default let's create this project so first of all we will use the http connector to get the request and we'll do its default setting so we'll keep is as default and we'll use the port 8081 and i can define it's and in memory this is the path which we have configured so after that one we will use the idempotent message processor over here so what it does if the request is duplicate this idempotent message will not process it so this is based on the id it will does so i will use this as an input i will token with as an id on which it will process or check the message if the message is duplicate or not so in that case it will pick up the value from the token one and then it will use the object store because it's using the in memory so we will use the core in memory object store if we do next we can define it as a name so in memory we can define the entry ttl its value is in millisecond if i define 1200 it means is that any request with the same id comes within 1200 millisecond it will consider as a duplicate request and discard this message otherwise it will process this message so we will use a set payload method over here which once it gets successful it processed it okay. and we can also use my exception as exception strategy over here and inside that one again i will use the another set payload and the name value of it is that duplicate okay let's save it so and 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 try to run this process it use the custom path as idm potent message so i will go to my postman and once the server runs we will try to hit and see how it discard the message and how it is accepting some of the message which is hit within a time limit so let's wait the forward get server get started okay now server is deployed if I hit this request, it I got the message process. If I send the another request within 1200 millisecond, I did not get nothing. The reason over here is that in the IDM potent message, I have checked it throw on unaccepted. It means that whenever it discard a message, it will throw an exception. And then this catch exception block will get executed and this cell set payload duplicate value will get processed i saved it automatically it redeployed the application and once the application get deployed we will hit it we will hit it again we go duplicate so the value it store till 1200 so if i hit now it should get processed and hit it again it should get processed now go to the duplicate so this way 
the IDM potent message filter will process based on one ID. If it is within a time limit, it discards that message, throw the exception, else it processes completely. Thanks. Thanks for watching.